Let me tell you something. The world wants you to fail. <laughs> and self-discipline is one of the things that is going to help you prove the world wrong. The problem is you are all great at discipline. Even those that supposedly lack self-discipline, I can guarantee you one thing. You're masters at self-discipline. Because everyone is disciplined at something. Some people are lazy. You're disciplined at being lazy. Some people are hardworking. You're disciplined at being hardworking. Some people love to swear. You're disciplined at swearing. Some people love to eat. <laughs> You're disciplined at eating. But it's a question of taking that same energy and focusing it on the things that are going to help you to get better. I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of people getting sick and tired, man. I mean, the choice is yours. It's literally that simple. The rest of your life is up to you. And if you don't seize this moment to just pull up your socks and tighten your belts just a little bit, just to become a little bit more self-disciplined, I guarantee you, you're going to stay where you are and you're going to regret it. I'm not talking about immediate drastic change that is going to leave everyone gobsmacked at what an incredible person you are and how magnificently changed and transformed you'd be in a month or two weeks. I'm not talking about that type of transformation. I'm simply talking about transformation that comes about from a little bit of discipline that makes a difference each and every single day. You've got to be the one that's going to take those small steps forward. No one is going to do it for you. You've got to do it for yourself. Those haters out there are waiting for you to slip up. Those haters out there, they want you to fall down. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not going to give them the chance. I refuse to give them the chance. And is, is, is it because of the haters that we've got to do what we've got to do to become successful so that we prove them wrong? Hell no. My life is my life. No one owns it. No one can lease it. It's my life. Your life is your life. You need to understand that. Stop doing things for other people. And get disciplined for yourself. Now let me tell you something. Something personal. These social media posts. Yes, I'm a media personality. But posting so frequently on social media is not my thing. This year I've had to pull up my socks and bit by bit, post by post, every single day. And I've, I've missed a couple of days. I think I've missed like three or four days this entire year. And that's not good enough because life comes down to the margins. It comes down to the margins. But I've made a commitment. And self-discipline means that every time you miss the beat, you pick yourself up and you find that rhythm again and you keep on going. Not every day is going to be perfect. Not every day is going to be the perfect day of, of self-discipline. Some days you don't have the willpower to be self-disciplined. Well, let me tell you something. Between you and me, you've just got to keep on going. That, that step, you got to make... The thing that can't change, you know, your, your effort might change. You know, your output, even the quality of the things that you're trying to push out, it might change. But the one thing that you cannot change, guys is your commitment to self-discipline. You see, let me tell you something about relationships. Relationships, you can't always be in love 24-7. You can't. It's impossible. You can't even be angry 24-7. An emotion is a chemical reaction that takes place in your mind, in your body. So, <laughs> you, you can't feel a certain way all the time, but the one thing that you can do, you can stick to a decision. You can remain committed. And that has no timestamp. That has no chemical that simply is up to you so today 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 i don't care about how many times you've slipped if you're trying to lose weight and you keep on falling down get back up again if you keep trying to educate yourself and you keep failing get back up again if you keep failing at relationships stop giving up stop giving up Perhaps you need to start looking in the right places. Perhaps you need to start talking to the right people. If you keep failing in business, don't give up. You need to start getting disciplined. You need to start disciplining yourself, improving yourself. And that's the greatest discipline of all, a commitment to improvement. A commitment, just like I said in January 2020, a commitment to why you started. Whatever you do, don't just do it. Ace it.